Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So in this week's video, I'm showing you how to make three ingredient sugar scrub cubes. That's right, you only need three ingredients to make this sugar scrub recipe. These are the most exfoliating, cleansing, and moisturizing sugar scrub cubes. Wanna see how I make them? Well, keep watching. So this is an aloe vera based soap base and this is going to be the main ingredient in our sugar scrub cubes. The first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and cut these cubes up into little chunks. And cutting these down into little chunks is going to help with the next step. And we'll talk about the next step in just a moment. So guys, just as an FYI, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you're notified whenever I create a new video. So I love aloe vera based soap because it lathers really well. So that's going to make these sugar scrub cubes very nice when you use them to cleanse your skin or exfoliate with them. So now we have our little cubes of soap base. I'm going to go ahead and take two separate containers. So I have these two containers here and I'm going to place my soap in each container. And I'm measuring out about eight ounces of this soap. So I'm gonna put half in this container and then the other half will go in this container. And then I do have some left over and I can just use this for later. So now I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the next step, which is to measure out some oil. So this is some apricot kernel oil, and I'm just going to measure out about eight ounces of this. So now that I have my soap base and I also have my oils, I'm going to go ahead and melt my soap base down and so that it is in liquid form like my oil. And there are two ways that you can actually melt down the soap. You can either melt it in a water bath on the stove or you can pop it in the microwave to let it melt down a little bit quicker. Now I'm also going to take my oil and I'm going to let this heat up just a little bit in a water bath just so that it is around the same temperature as my soap base. So I'm going to let this heat up while my soap base also melts. Now I'm also going to measure out about 16 ounces of sugar. And now that I have my sugar, I'm just going to sit this to the side. So 
So now that I have both of my containers with my liquid soap and then I also have my oil, I'm going to take my oil and I'm just going to split it in half and pour some in here and some in here. And I'm just going to give both of these a nice stir. And now I'm going to take some color and just give my sugar scrubs a little bit of color. So this is a yellow colorant and you have to stir pretty vigorously. And now I'm going to do the same for this container. If these start to harden up on you, you can always pop them back in the microwave or you can sit them over a water bath and let them melt again. So I like these two colors. So now we can move on to the next step. I'm just going to go ahead and take some of my sugar and pour it over into my soap and stir it as I pour it in there. And now I'm just going to do the same thing for this container. And you can see that it's starting to thicken up. So now I'm just going to take my little soap mold and go ahead and fill my mold up. So I've started to fill my molds and try not to overfill them, that way they're easy, they're even on the bottom. And now I'm going to in the other color.
So I'm going to move this to the side. So I have another mold that I'm just going to fill up with the remainder of my sugar scrub. And now I'm just going to let these dry. So my sugar scrub cubes and my sugar scrub bars, because that's what these are, have been drying for about 24 hours. Now you can let these dry for four to six hours and that should be fine, but I just decided to go ahead and let them dry for a full 24 hours. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take them out of their little mold. Just as an FYI, if you over pour them, you can certainly take your little soap cutter and remove this top part so that they're even all the way around. So now I'm just going to go ahead and pop them out of the mold and they should come out pretty easily, just like that one did. And I'll go ahead and sit them here. And now I can go ahead and remove my sugar scrub bars and they just pop right out. So easy to remove. All right, so guys, these are my sugar scrub cubes and my sugar scrub bars. And these little cubes are going to be so easy to use. And you can also just sit them in your bathroom for guests or your family to use when they want to wash their hands. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also, products that I use can be found in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.